Is this the closet? Is is this the closet? Oh, I feel dumb. Be a good girl and watch over your brother, okay? No, I don't want this to happen. I left because I didn't know how to deal with what had happened. You receive Mori no Kokoro part two. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Rock One Play through part 9. Uh, we just finished figuring out what happened between Tony and his daughter Christina and uh, the loss of her brother, his son Benny, and um, helped them understand each other. So now we're gonna fix the music box and um, see where we go from here. Welcome back, guys. What can I do for ya? We know the song! Jack, we know the music box's song now. You do? Well, that's fantastic news. I'll get right to work. We'll have this bad boy up and running in no time. Music box. Oh. Tony Bear in my hut. Don't worry, he won't hurt you. Little Liebel, did you fix my music box? This music blo box belongs to Tony? Yes, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. It's just, he really looked like he needed help, but didn't know how to ask. So the little Liebel did fix it. If I say yes, will you not eat me? <laughs> <clears throat> I can't believe this. You don't even know what this means to me. I can't thank you enough. I'm so sorry for destroying your gardens. You're much nicer creatures than I gave you credit for. I guess I, I've just been a big jerk. Well, from here on out, not only did I promise not to harm you, harm your village, I also promise to protect it. I owe you so much, the least I could do is show you my gratitude. I... well, uh... Thank you, Tony Bear. And thank you, all my new little friends. Aww. Mom, look! It's another door! Should we see where it leads? Yeah! Oh, I don't even get a choice. Let's <laughs> just go straight in it. Oh, and there's Tony. Who's there? I thought I told you stupid nurses to leave me alone. Christy? Hi, Dad. Oh, I'm getting a little teared up. I'm glad you're here. Me too, Dad. It's so glad to see them. Or I'm so glad to see them making up. <clears throat> Mom? And then we move right on to some creepy shit. Again. Yummy. Still sleeping? Yummy, it's you! You should really be used to this by now. So I hear you're becoming a regular hero around here, eh? Helping out your neighbors, saving little pink cat creatures from angry bears. Wait, you know about the labels? Of course I do. You think you're so special. The only kid who's been to the forest. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that at all. I just... Before, when you didn't understand why the book was important to me, I thought... I thought that meant you hadn't read the story before. I'm sorry, Yami, I just... 
Hey, I was just kidding. It's all good. You don't have to explain. Wait. So that means... You know about Morizora? Of course I do. That's great, Yami. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I couldn't even believe it the first time I saw it. Everything is so wonderful there. The creatures are real, and they want to talk to me and help me, and I want to help them too. Yeah, everyone loves you when they want something from you. Wait. What? I'm just saying. It's human nature, you know. Shouldn't feel bad about it, it's just the way it is. <clears throat> Are you gonna wish for anything? From Morizora? Yeah. I don't know. Last I saw he was sleeping, and even if he did wake up, I doubt he'd grant me a wish. Why do you think that? Wishes are for good kids. Kids that help people. Kids that are strong. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help anyone with anything? Oh, Yami. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna get busted if the nurse catches me again. I better go. Yami? What? You've helped me. Huh? Why? Because I break into your room every night and you mistake me for your mom? <laughs> no. Well, maybe. What are you on about? You keep me company. And you understand. Nights are the loneliest, you know, but when you're here, that's not so bad. Well, thanks for saying that. I mean it. So we see Yami yet again. Creepy kid. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? I did. I feel refreshed. That's what I like to hear. So it looks like we're all set. I'll get these tests to the lab and... Shanti, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but... We're having a bit of a problem. No worries, Kenji. What do you need? Well... I hate to tell you this, but... Kisaburo got out again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what?! <laughs> he broke the new boards we put up and got into the space behind his room. And I'm pretty sure he got outside too, because there's more boxes and more mud. Ugh. Why?! I just don't have time for this now! I'm thinking we might have to reevaluate Kisaburo's medication. Unfortunately, I think you're probably right. Sorry, guys, but I gotta run. You're free to rock around today if you'd like. Yay! Thank you, Doctor. I hope everything is okay. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know how it is. Just another day at the hospital. Okay, Kenji, I'll meet you at Kisaburo's room. Got it. What do you think? Should we go see what's going on with Chris Burrow? Yeah, let's go! Alright. <sighs> Moving on to Chris Burrow. This is probably um, the only... The only one that I don't remember what happens to him. I think I pretty much remember what happens to all of the other people that you help. But I can never remember what what uh, what the story is with Kisaburo. What you got? I don't even know how much money I have. One hundred and fifteen. Interesting. Um. <clears throat> I think a higher dose 
dosage would help with these recent hallucinations. You can get more rest and feel better overall. I'm not hallucinating. Kisaburo, you can't keep going outside. Why not? I'm a grown man. If I want to leave, I can leave at any time. It's not safe out there, and you're destroying hospital property. I have to fix the train. It's my job. You can't keep taking my tools away from me. I'm running out of time. I have to tell her something. I have to tell her. <coughs> Dr. Kenji is going to be observing you for a while. Please know we're doing all we can to help you right now. Has to fix a train, huh? Oh, hey, kid. Seems you're the only one who listens to me these days. Everyone else thinks I've completely lost it. Why'd you go outside? The doctors think it's too dangerous to be outside, but I have to be. I'm running out of time. I have to find it. I have to finish it. I have to send a message. Sounds like a mob boss. <laughs> Sometimes when a patient's body is not well, it can affect their mind. These sorts of things are never easy. He doesn't remember me. Oh. oh, hello, dear. How are you feeling today? Our anniversary is coming up, so I thought I'd bring Kisaburo something nice to cheer him up. But I figure it's best to wait until the right time. I'm sure he's exhausted from all the tests, so I'll give him some time. This game is so heartbreaking. to give. Turns out it was on her finger this whole time. The weird thing is she never had it on before. Winston kept it in a box for her near her bed. Aww. Winston was so relieved. <clears throat> well, that's nice. Let's go see Grumpy Old Man. Oops, wrong door. I like your hat! I folded it myself, my mom taught me. Wow, you did a very good job. I used to know how to fold some things out of paper. I'm not sure I'd remember anymore, though. Hey, kid. Who's the lady? That's my daughter, Christina. Oh, he's so happy. Look at him smile. Like I always say, it's good to have some company now and then, don't you think? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you say that, my guy. That's adorable. That makes me happy. This game is so heartbreaking. Can we go through this door yet? No. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what we need to do, so let's. 
Let's go this way, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. I have stuff for the hospital room. Don't I? Yeah, the kitty. Let's go put the kitty in the hospital room. No, we'll come back. I'm assuming um, we might need to actually talk to Kisaburo and his wife in the other world. <clears throat> Hell yeah, I want a samurai hat. Why not? I don't really remember what all I have because I don't think it like erases the items when we're done. Pretty awesome. Can't sit in it? Lame. Lame. I might also go talk to this doctor real quick, but I don't think she's gonna tell me anything. Let's go back to the other world and see if we can talk to them there and maybe figure out how to help them. Will his wife say anything new? Oh, hello. Welcome to the Midnight Tea Shop. What's up? Well, she's just gonna say the same thing she said before. Okay, then let's try going to talk to him where he is in the spring. And we might be able to go back to Blacksmith Jackie and get a pickaxe. That should open up some stuff, but I'm not sure I have everything I need for it yet. <clears throat> Can we help you? I hate asking for help, but seeing as how Morizora has commanded me to stay here, I guess I have no other choice. My wife Kazuko and I run a little tea shop to the west of here. Ever since I got sick, she's had to run the shop all by herself, which is no small task. Perhaps if Kazuko had a couple extra helping hands, it might ease the burden a bit. Do you think you could visit her at our tea shop west of here and see if she needs help with anything? Yeah, totally. Of course we'll help you out, however we can. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to both of us. to the midnight tea shop can we help out you want to help you mean like you're looking for a job well not exactly your husband Kisaburo asked us to see if you needed anything he actually said that to you wow well I guess I could use some help with a couple of things business has been slower these days I guess I'd feel a lot safer if we could get just one more big tea contract but I do have a customer in mind. His name is Monsignor Bud, and he holds regular tea events that require lots of tea. I'm sure if I could bring him a sample, he'd be our customer in no time. Unfortunately, I'm the only employee, so I can't really leave the store right now. 
I can do that. If I could leave, I'd also visit our neighbor to pick up some dragon ash for this flower I'm growing here. Hikakaribana. Well, good eye, it is indeed. She's grown quite a bit, however, I don't think she'll bloom without that dragon ash. Anyway. So you'd really like to help? Okay, then. Would it be too much to ask you to go in my place? To bring Monsieur Bud a sample of our tea and to pick up some dragon ash from her neighbor? We'd love to help. Well, thank you so much. You've found Monsignor Bud in the Skylands. A beanstalk west of the Liebel village should take you there. You can give a sample of tea from this gourd. Our neighbor lives in the cave right outside our shop. Occasionally, the entrance to her cave gets blocked by fallen rocks, so you might need to find a pickaxe to clear them. Yeah, I wondered if that was one of my next steps. If you ask nicely, I'm sure she'll give you some dragon ash. Her name is Stormy, and she's a great water dragon. Try not to be intimidated. <laughs> Good luck, and thanks again. Alright, cool. I can do that. Excellent. Excellent. Where does this go? <clears throat> oh! I don't think I'm supposed to be there yet. <laughs> Is the suspicious guy still down here? Yeah. So I guess we gotta go back to the hospital to be able to go around. That's fine. This way is. <laughs> Let's go see if we can get the pickaxe first. Because I have looting to do. Oh, there's the bears! There's the bears! Hello! It's good to see you again. How are you? I'm doing great. I no longer want to live by myself on that island. I'm really enjoying spending time with my daughter and grand cubs. Aww. Thank you for giving me back something I thought was gone forever. My dad is so different now. Thank you so much for fixing something that was so important to both of us. I like having a grandpa. <laughs> Honey! <laughs> okay. Too cute. Um, let's see. A pickaxe, five sticks, three lemon rocks, and three nightstone. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have that. I have enough sticks, but I need more nightstone and lemon rock. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. I wonder if we can find that stuff. Wait a minute. Was there always a campfire down here? Or am I just not remembering that? in your bud. There's a big 
with. And that's an old label. find the rest of the lemon rocks around Monsignor Bud's place. Hello. If I stand right here, doesn't it kind of look like my head? Like I have a tree growing out of my head? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Trees growing out of flowers. My oh my, the tables have turned. Have you heard? There is a label artisan who created a remarkable tea set modeled after Sky Buds. It's gorgeous. I believe he's one of the other... He's on one of the other floating islands. You should check it out if you get the chance. I think I did already. <gasps> Loot! Yes! This game understands me. Monsignor Bud is serving some kind of special cake at today's tea. I can't wait to eat, but I'm still kind of full from the last event. Must have events a lot. I had five scones the other day at Monsignor Bud's afternoon tea. What the heck? That's a lot. I gotta work it off somehow. <laughs> Reach for the sky. Work off those calories. Man, maybe that's what I need to do. These jars give me Zelda vibes. I feel like I should be breaking them. <gasps> Cave? Ooh, loot. Should be able to get my pickaxe now. I think I have everything. <gasps> Flower marble! Ooh, we get to go back to Sue. pickaxe real quick. This is gonna become a looters episode. I'm just gonna run around with my pickaxe breaking rocks. So I can steal more stuff. Pickaxe, give me pickaxe! Here's your new pickaxe! Thank you! You're the best. Is there any other tools? that I need to get? No? Okay. That's it. Thanks, dude. I'm so excited. First things first. Loot! Onion air freshener. Okay. Oh, 
Fun wall stickers. I wonder what that does. Are these for the... Hospital room? I think they're for the hospital room. Oh my goodness, sir. You're trying to get in the way. I'm gonna get an axe to the face. Did I have anything that I could bring in here? With the pick? I'm kinda not thinking so. It's all just axe stuff. All right, let's go see Mom, Senior Bud. Oh, this is the wrong. This is the wrong uh, beanstalk, isn't it? No, it's not. I got confused. I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> All righty. It's the fan she's fancy music. Are you looking for Monsignor Bud's afternoon tea? Uh, yes. It's just up these stairs. Enjoy yourselves. Hello? Alfred. I didn't get you this job so that you could just goof off all day. First the stink bomb and now these preposterous drawings? Maxwell Howell II. You stop this behavior at once. Little buds. <laughs> Long time no see. Not Maxwell. My name is Lil Buds. Lil Buzz. What in the... You're acting like a hooligan. Dad, you gotta chill. <laughs> You're gonna be chilling in your bedroom for the next two weeks if you don't clean up your act. But Dad... I'm serious. If you mess up one more time, you are grounded. Now come with me and behave yourself. You have a job to do. Yes, Dad. Poor little bud. Wow, Mom, this place is really fancy, isn't it? You're right, dear. It must be where Monsignor Bud lives. Wow, I've never seen you guys before. Where did you come from? Are you gonna stay for the Monsignor's afternoon tea? What? Oh. That's some, that's some hair. Yes, Rupert. More food from the kitchen has gone missing. Oh no, what did they take this time? Only the Monsignor's absolute favorite dish. Pecan pull apart syllabary crumble? That is a long. Not the crumble! <sighs> yes, sugar baby, they took the crumble. We must be on high alert until we figure out who and where this food thief is. Who are these outsiders? Oh, these folks? They're, um, they're from, uh,. They're my cousins! Cousins? <laughs> Your cousins. Oh yeah, my cousins. They're totally cool. I've known them my whole life. This is how food keeps getting stolen, sir. We just walked in. We haven't spoken but maybe five words to each other. And, um, uh, you're covering for me for no reason.
Well, I guess if they're your cousins, it should probably be okay. But you'd better keep an eye on them. I don't want anything else to get stolen today. Yes, of course, Rupert. Phew, that was close. My name's Sugar Baby. Well, my real name is actually Ethan. But everyone calls me Sugar Baby because it's my job to bring people sugar cubes for their tea. You guys aren't from around here, are you? I've never met creatures from across the great sea before. Wow. You both look so cool. I mean, look at those arms. Your arms have five little arms growing out of the ends of your arms. And you have brown grass growing out top of your head. Brown grass. So cool! So what brings you guys to Monsignor Buds? We were hoping he might try some of this special tea. It's the best tea in all the forest. Ooh, the Monsignor loves new teas. I'll take you to see him right now. Oh, wait. Mmm. What? Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Normally this would be easy, but there's a slight problem. As you can probably tell from what just happened, someone has been stealing food from the kitchen. And until we figure out who the thief is, Rupert, he's my boss, is not gonna let anyone near the Monsignor. Sorry, guys. Unless... Maybe you guys could help us find the thief. We're short-staffed today, so I bet I could get you guys a job here. You mean we'd get to work here? In this big mansion? Yeah, it's pretty easy. People ask for tea and you deliver it. Plus you get to eat ton of free food. Strawberry cakes, sandwiches, syllabary jam, you name it. That sounds great. I bet since you're new, the bud... The buds would love to gossip with you. Just do a good job and they'll talk with you and tell you stuff. I bet you could get all sorts of information that way. If you can help us find the thief, I'm sure the Monsignor would drink your tea. What do you say? Will you help us find the thief? I could get you that job, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah. Okie dokie, come with me. First we gotta ask Rupert if he'll hire you. I wonder if his arms get tired holding that sugar over his head all the time. Hey Rupert! This had better be important. It is. I have great news. You found the crumble thief? Not quite, but it's still good. You know, how Lester and Flora called in sick today? Uh, don't remind me. Today is not the day I want to be short-stabbed. Well, worry not, Rupert. My cousins can take their place. <laughs> Your cousins. I thought they were just visiting. Do they even have any experience with waiting tables or with tea? Do they have any experience? What kind of question is that? Why, where they come from, they're practically famous for serving tea. That's a bit of an exaggeration. So, what do you know about tea? Well, no, that all depends. What would you like me to tell you about it? Are you serving ceremonial grade matcha or just premium? Do I smell a blend of silver tips and dried sila berries? I certainly hope you're keeping the water temperature no hotter than 180. Hmm, I'd suggest putting out some honey and fresh cream for that assam you have. And good choice with the whatever that word is. It'll help balance the heaviness of the desserts. Fine. Okay, they can work here. Yay! But if anything goes wrong, I'm holding you accountable, sugar baby. I understand. The smaller one can work as a tea server. Take him and show him the ropes. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and since the taller one seems to have an extensive knowledge about tea, I'll have Alfred show her how to assemble the special tea leaf blends. Alfred! Yes, sir. 
We have a new tea specialist to fill in for Lester. Please escort her to the kitchen and see to it that she knows where all of the leaves and ingredients are kept. Yes, sir. This is definitely devolved. I didn't really want to become a tea servant myself, but okay. Right this way, ma'am. Later, Mom. <laughs> you can do it. Thanks, dear. Have fun out there. You too. Well, what are you two waiting for? Go get your uniform on and serve that tea. The guests are waiting. Yes, sir. I love that apple dude. He has not moved. My room's just up ahead. I'm so excited you get to work here. It's gonna be so much fun. You can wear Lester's uniform. It's over there on the bed. The red bow tie is the best part. When I grow a little bit bigger, I'll get to wear a red bow tie too. Okay. Anyway, go ahead and get changed. I'll meet you back in the servants' quarters. That's the room where Rupert is and the free dessert. So ho ho. See you soon, my new buddy. We're cousins, sir. Cousins. I'm your new cousin. I am adorable. All right, I think that's where we're gonna have to stop, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. It's been fun. When we come back here, we'll uh, finish up, figure out who the thief is, and maybe even serve Monsignor some tea, and um, go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and do what you want. Bye bye. <laughs>